Hello there. Welcome to Five Figures. Um, today I'm looking at figures that are too big to fit in the booth. I guess you'd call them figures. These are the Power Rangers or Super Sentai Megazords that they made in the oh late 90s, early 2000s. <clears throat> uh, I, I don't watch much Power Rangers. I've just been starting to get into it. I've been really loving the hell out of Super Sentai and that's where my love for these things have come from and I've acquired a few throughout the years before I even watch the show because I just love toys no matter what they are. If it's a good toy I just love it and this is one I bought ages ago. I think this one is from oh I'm trying to remember the show. I think it's Die Ranger. Yeah I'm pretty sure it's Die Ranger um, and Super Sentai. I don't know the Power Ranger version of it. Uh, but these these things, they're pretty basic. I wanted to say that this guy's front piece pops down and he's got like a compartment in there. I think there was like an orb that came out. Um, he's by no means complete, but these things move at the, at the shoulders and you get a neck pivot and that's all you get for articulation. There is a little bit of flex in the legs, but I don't think there's necessarily supposed to be. They're just separate pieces that are screwed in. Um, they're made of very hard plastic um, on the body and a little bit softer rubbery type stuff on the arms and some of the legs, they're all hollow uh, and the heads are just a flat out soft squishy rubber, uh, which probably helps them to keep from breaking, but they still kind of do sometimes. Um, if you love like the, the jumbo uh, Shogun Warriors, but you can't afford like a, a jumbo Mazinger or you know a jumbo Machinder, uh, these all of these I have gotten really cheap. They're much more inexpensive to buy, and a lot of them are a little bit rough shape, but they're just so big and they're so flipping cool and they look so great on your shelf. And as for a reference of size, Gold Ranger over there is a six inch scale. And that's how big he is with this. So I'm going to put him over there. That looks pretty good. And here is another one. Um, this guy is missing his, he had like a sundial on his chest. And I have not got to the, um, the Super Sentai show that this is from yet. But I absolutely love the design with the crescent moon on his head. It reminds me of something I would see from like uh, Super Sentai Jetman, but I'm not positive. I don't, I'm pretty sure he's not from Jetman, but I can't remember which series he's from. But once again, uh, a piece like this, I mean, if you can, you can see the little price there. I picked this up at a, a retail, well, kind of a, a, it's called the Imaginarium in Omaha, Nebraska, 17 bucks. Um, I paid 30 for that guy over there. These things are not expensive and they are super cool. Uh, I absolutely love their color palettes on them. I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna leave him right there. Next up we have, this is the first one I found and I bought this before I even knew it was Power Rangers. Uh, the dude wanted 25 bucks for it at his shop and look at it. You gonna, gonna not buy this for 25 bucks? Once again, you're dealing with just the three, three points of articulation. There is a nice ratchet to them. So they go and they stay where you put it. And all of them are fairly well balanced. Um, this is one of the cooler ones I saw. Uh, I have, he's missing a handle. There was a handle on these, pretty sure. And he's all hard plastic, except for his like softer rubber shoulder pads. And of course his head is like a soft, more flexible rubber. Um, one of the more recent ones I've acquired, this one kind of came with a story. I had to pay a little bit more for this guy. I think he was about 40 bucks. This is from Power Rangers Dino Thunder, one of what's reportedly one of the best Power Ranger shows ever. But uh, the guy who sold me this on eBay, he's like, well, I'll tell you right now, it's got some damage. I found it on the side of a road. And I was like, oh, really? So like he's missing an ear thing here. 
He's got a lot of scuffs on him. One of his legs is kind of cocked weird. And he's got some grindage on the toenails and things like that. And that is because this guy has bounced down a road and landed in a ditch where he sat out there for I don't know how long. Looks like this got some sun fade. Um, until this guy saw it on the side of a road and picked it up. And to me, that story makes this guy freaking awesome. I just, I love that story. The fact that this guy, you know, survived on the side of a road somewhere and we finally finally rescued him and got him in a, got him in a good home. He does have one extra point of articulation, his drill hand, which is actually a T-Rex tail. It rotates, which I like, which gives him a little more articulation, but because of his war injuries, he's a little bit wonky to stand. He is the only one that is a little bit wonky to stand, and I just haven't fixed it yet. I'm gonna have to crack the whole like chest piece open through the back and get this leg to pop in straight because it's just a little bit cockeyed probably from bouncing down the interstate. I picture some kid very sad, but if you're out there, I have your, I have your Megazord and he's in, he's in a good home now. Uh, and finally, because I've been picking these up, I thought I'd grab the new one. Um, this is from Beast, what do they call that? Beast Formers, Beast Morphers. This is the new series Megazord and you can see he is shorter than the others, which doesn't thrill me. I wish he was a little bit taller. Um, this is Hasbro making these not, like all these others were made by uh, Saban or, or you know uh, Bandai. This is a Hasbro offering. So you do get shoulder rotation. You also get wrist rotation on both sides. That's nice. You get a head pivot and the sword itself transforms. So, I mean, he's got some extra things going on that the others don't, but he's also just a touch smaller. And I, I personally think the back on him looks really bland. Uh, Hasbro has this habit of just making the front of the figures look great and the back looks like ass. Uh, the, the front does look great though. So, I, like I said, you can see how much smaller he is than all the others. He's still cool, and I, I mean, he's, he was 30 bucks at Walmart. I mean, that's a big, big figure for that. Very pleased with it. Um, I, of course, like the older ones better, and I recommend all of them, because if you just want, like, a huge focus piece in your collection that just looks amazing on the shelf, uh, vintage design of, of, you know, this is so Japanese. And it's so retro Japanese, but I, I just recommend them. They're cheap. I think a lot of people forgot these things existed. Um, complete ones run you more, obviously. You can spend 150 bucks for him new in a box. But if you're if you're flexible with the, like your uh, condition, I got all these guys for less than 40 bucks a piece, and he was the most expensive. And that's only because he's probably from the newer the newer show. Um, everybody else was less than like, less than 25. Well, I guess he was 29. So he was 30, but that's because he's brand new. Anyway, they're cheap is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I do recommend them. I think they're awesome. And that's five action figures. Um, and that's all I got. That's my story. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you later. Bye.